This is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570 EX calculator to solve the standard form type of questions. Okay, but before I start to teach you the calculator skill, I want you to understand the standard form manually. Okay, what's the meaning of standard form? Standard form basically is you need to re get a result is one digit followed by a decimal, and then after that you can have other digits here, it doesn't matter. And then you multiply 10 power of n. All right, this is the pattern of the standard form. So if you understand what I'm talking about, so I'm going to show you uh, how to change this number in your standard form. Because standard form can only allow you start with one digit only. So that means this number, basically my decimal is after seven. So what I want to do is I want to move this decimal to the uh, place between one and two because I can only accept one number followed by decimal in it. So right now, I want to move this decimal into this position. So this is what I will do is I, I need to calculate how many places I move. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this one is 1.234567 multiply 10 power of 6. All right, then how about this number here? This number decimal is over here. So I want to move it between one and two because I could, can only accept one number followed by the decimal, isn't it? Then I move one, two, three, four, five. So this this one is 1.23 multiply 10 power of negative five. So you realize one will be power positive, the other one will be power negative y. All right, when you move the decimal from your right to the left, then this one is multiply 10 power of n. But if you move the decimal from left to the right, then this one is multiply 10 power of negative n. So because this one moved to this direction, and this one will move to this direction. So you can see both of them go in the different direction. Okay, but before I start to teach you on how to use a calculator here, you need to understand uh, what is the default setting for this calculator. All right, so I'm going to show you some example here. So let's say today I do 3000 square. And then the calculator will not show in a standard form. But if I do 3000 power of 3 here, and then you realize the calculator will show in a standard form. So let's say today I do 1 divided by 100, the calculator will not show the standard form. But if I do 1 divided by 200, the calculator will show in the standard form. But why? So over here, you kind of need to know when you will get standard form and when you will not get the standard form. All right, so by default here, so the calculator will only show the standard form when the x value the modulus of x value will be less than our 10 power of negative 2, which is less than 0 0.01. And then this number is bigger than 10 power of 10, or bigger or equals to 10 power of 10, then you will get uh, standard form. If you understand, I will show you the example using this calculator here. Let's say I'm using back the same example, 0 0.00040123. All right, this number definitely less than 0 0.01. So when I type the equal button, this calculator will show the answer in the standard form. Then I type equal, you realize the calculator will get exactly the same answer uh, with me. All right, however, if I use the first example here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, this number definitely less than 10 power of 10. Then when I type equal, the calculator will not show me in the standard form. So if I want the calculator to show in the standard form, there's some trick in this calculator, which we're using back the same uh, significant figure function. You go into the shift menu, which is set up, go into number format, number three, choose two SCI, stand for significant figures, choose two. All right, right now, depend how many significant figures you want here, because if you want all the significant figures from one to seven, then here you kind of need to tap seven. And then tap equal again, the calculator will show all the number from one to seven. However, sometimes your answer, because this one standard form is only happening in paper one. So let's say your answer A, B, C, D only have, let's say three significant figures, then you do not 
one like from one to seven, then you can change it over here. Let's say number format, number two. Let's say I only want three significant figures, I will type three. Then you realize I type equal at the time, the calculator will only show like 1.23 multiply 10 power of 6, which is only three significant figures here. All right, if you understand this concept, then you can do most of the questions in your paper one. All right, here are some examples to help you understand better about standard form. So example number one, express 50 meter cube in centimeter cube, giving your answer in standard form. Okay, first thing is you kind of need to understand if I want to change from meter to cm, what I will need to do is I will need to multiply 100. All right, but however, if I want to change meter square to cm square, I will need to multiply 100 square. So same idea if right now I want to change the meter cube into centimeter cube, then I will need to multiply 100 cube. So this is what I can do. I will do 50 multiply 100 power of 3. And then this is how I convert meter cube into centimeter cube, right? Then I type equal. Yeah, the calculator will show uh, the answer in single number here, which is not the standard form. But I want a standard form. What I can do is I will go into shift menu, number 3, number 2, and then here, I, the answer over here is only have one significant figure. So for me, it's fine to use one, two, three, four, but I will just use one, all right? I use one and I type enter again. Then I will, can straight away get the answer, which is C. All right, let's have a look at the question number two here. So let's say your calculator is in standard one, which is norm number one. All right, 1.8. Multiply 10 power of 14. Of course, you can still type multiply 10 power of 14 like this. But normally, if I want to save some time, I will not do like this. This is what I will do. I will go into the fraction first and then I type 1.8. Uh, do you see this button over here? Multiply 10 power of x. I will straight away use this one. And 14, I no need to type again power. I straight away key in 14. All right, then over of 50,000. All right, then I type equal. All right, the calculator will not show in the standard form right now. And then I check my answer. This is called two significant figures, right? So later I change my format here. I want to make sure I select significant figures. I select two here. Or else maybe I will get 4.0. All right, so must be very careful to choose the significant figures here. Then I type equal. Then the calculator will tell me my exact answer. It will convert for me. So the answer will be A. Right then, I will show you the last example of this video. All right, this example is something like this. This asks you to express 3.456 multiplied 10 power of negative 5 as a single number. So right now, it's kind of opposite. They give you a standard, num a standard form, and then they want you to express this one into the single number. So this is what you need to do. I will insert the whole number, 3456 multiply 10, which is this button, negative five. All right, then the calculator should be able to show in the standard form here. All right, if I want to change it into the single number, what I will do is I will use the ENG button here, which is stand for the engineering notation. If the power of 10 here is negative, then I need to use shift ENG. If the power of 10 here is positive here, I can just type the ENG here. All right, my objective is to make the 10 power of negative five into the 10 power of zero. Okay, you will see what I will do here. So shift ENG one time, it's not yet zero, shift ENG one more time. Right now it's a zero. And then this one will be my final answer, which is 0 0.00003456. So my answer will be B. If you are interested to get this calculator, I will share a Shopee link at the description below. The link will bring you to the Casio official store. So for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step-by-step -step guide here. So in order to use the 
voucher first you need to go in the shopee website and then at the search button over here you just type car show you should be able to see something like search car show shop you click on it and then you should be able to see the car show official store and then click on it and then you should be able to see the car show scientific calculator over here just in case you cannot see you can go into here search in shop over here you just type 570ex and then the shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and then you click on it and you just click buy now and then over here there's two places for you to insert your voucher code first place is over here you can see the more voucher the second place will be over here the platform voucher okay the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by shopee and then this voucher is provided by casio malaysia and then over here you can insert the voucher code i provide which is the casio map and then you just click on apply i already apply so you can see like firing it off minimum spam of 70 ringgit so after that you should be able to see the price from 79 reduced to 74 if you have any question feel free to post at the comment section below or else i will see you guys in the next video bye bye